Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use my new Canva frames. These have the dripping effect, so you can make those fun um, ice cream dripping baseball designs. And you can really um, roll it over into other design themes as well. Like I've got this one here with the strawberry. There's a lot you can do. These are the frames. So let me show you how to edit everything and get it looking the way that you want it. Um, before we jump in though, if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out a lot. Um, if you want early access to my tutorials before they release to the public, you can um, sign up to be a member on my YouTube channel and get them that way. And also, if you have prayer requests, go ahead and leave those in the comments. All right, let's jump in. And I'm going to just kind of duplicate this ABC so you can see easily how it's done without going into a super long tutorial. So I'm going to drag across these first three, the ABC. I'm going to copy them, Control C, or you could hit right click and copy that way. Then I'll come down to this page I just added and I will hit Control V to paste them onto the page. Now let's make them a little bit bigger so that we can see what we are doing. Okay, so each letter is grouped together. You will need to ungroup it so you can access everything individually. I'm going to pull off the top, which is just that black outline. You can change the color of this outline to whatever you may want it to be. It does not have to be black. And I'm going to pull down the drips. You can see they are grouped together. You can't ungroup them, but they are separate colors. You can change the colors to anything you want them to be by using your color selections up there. Okay, let's fill these with that waffle cone. So I'm going to hit my elements over here. Just going to type waffle cone and in, into the graphics. Add the word background in there, that's better. Okay, um, and just start popping some in there. I think this one works really well. There's this one also, but it's a little bit big for my liking. This was the one I found that worked really well. Let's see what this one looks like. That one is not going to flow into a frame. Okay, you pick whatever you like. You can also download different ones from like Creative Fabrica and places like that. Stick those in there and you're going to get the waffle cone background right off the bat, just like that. I'm going to make this all a little bit bigger so we can see really well. You can change the background color. Let me make this one like a blue. I will make this one blue as well. Okay. And then you want to get your drips and just place them back on top and change these colors. Um, I think I'm gonna change the light pink to a white maybe. And then we'll change the darker pink to a lighter pink. All right, that's what I'm gonna go with there. Just kind of line it up really well. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because this outline, not the B, I want the A. We'll cover up any imperfections where the design overlaps. Okay, so we would do the same thing here. Let's change the colors. What do we do? Light pink and white. Okay. And throw that back on top. And then let's go get the C. And we did light pink and white. And we'll put that back on top. Okay, so that is working with the frame. Now, if you want to come and make these super popular ice cream drip baseball designs, you're 
going to want to add sprinkles. They are not a part of the design, but they are very, very easy to add in Canva. So I'm just going to come to my elements and I'm going to type sprinkles. I'm going to get some graphics and there's a ton that you can work with, but I prefer to find a smaller grouping like this so that I can duplicate it and maneuver it easily. If you get these big ones, even though you shrink them down, they're still just a whole lot in one place. And I can't really, you know, I could put that there, but if I wanna duplicate it and uh, put it across the top, whoopsie. It just doesn't fit well. If I make it smaller, then they're not gonna be the same size as the other sprinkles. I prefer to take the smaller groups. This one is perfect. Shrink it down. I am going to rotate it and just kind of get it to a good size for this design. And now let's change these colors. These colors are not showing up very well. So let's go maybe blue and a darker purple and a darker pink. Okay, that's not the best colors for this design, but I'm gonna use this because it's visible and because I wanna speed this up a little bit. So now that this is here, I will duplicate it. I duplicated the whole page. <laughs> Control D to duplicate. And now I can just start spinning this around. I will duplicate it again. Maybe rotate it this way. Bring it down here. Duplicate it one more time. And rotate it. And there you go. You'd probably wanna make those actually just a little bit smaller, but you would do the same thing for all of your letters and then you're going to end up with this fun ice cream dripping baseball type design. Okay, let's do this strawberry one just so you can see it works really well with something other than just the baseball theme. I'm going to delete all of these little drips or little sprinkles and start moving everything out of the way so we can get to that frame again. detach the waffle cone. I'm right clicking and just coming down here to detach. And now let's go get the strawberry background. Helps to type things correctly. Um, and I wanted one that actually had like the strawberry seeds in it. This is the one I used. So I'm just gonna pop that into there and that. That. I am going to change the background of these again. Let me highlight both of these and change them at the same time. Um, we're going to go ahead and put them back to this pink. Okay, now let's get our drips. And what did we have? I think we had, I don't know, I'll just add something new. Let's get a green. Make the bottom drip a green and the top drip. Control G will group, or you can hit the group button up there. And then you can kind of move these wherever you want them. Move that down a little bit rotate things however you want them to be. Let's go add some fun strawberry graphics. You know, pick some strawberries to put in here. These are not really great for this design. We want some that are more pink. I'll put that guy in here. Rotate 
rotate that around, maybe get a flower. That one. You know, whatever you think is going to look cute, you can make your own little designs and put that in there as well. You can see down here how this one ended up with the cute little strawberries that had the outlines and those little white flowers. And that's what you do there. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you. We'll see you next time.